April is Autism Awareness Month. Letchworth State Park will soon be home to a special nature trail tailored to kids and adults on the autism spectrum. News 4's Angela Christophoros explains. Angela? Well, Christy, plans for this special autism friendly trail have been underway for the past three years. Now, a planning committee is getting closer to opening it to the public. Many kids and adults on the autism spectrum have sensory issues, and this one of a kind trail will give them a special way to connect with nature in a judgment free zone. Each year, thousands of visitors take in the sights and sounds of the natural beauty at Letchworth State Park. One of the things that came up was the calming influence that the park has on so many people. For people on the autism spectrum, the calming influence can have a big impact. Lauren Penman is part of a planning committee for a special nature trail at the park. Their goal is to make it autism friendly. The eight stations and three features that are part of this trail will be something for everyone, we hope, but in particular for those who, who have sensory processing and sensory integration issues. The trail will be about a mile and a quarter long with special sensory stations along the way. Gliders instead of regular benches, things that promote uh, movement and balance and, um, and the ability to, uh, to exercise those large muscles as well. Nancy Brayton comes to Letchworth State Park often and has three grandchildren with autism. This is going to work. I've taken my grandchildren to places where we've had to leave. So they're going to be here, they're going to be happy, they're going to be comfortable, they're going to be learning. It will be a unique experience for a growing population of people on the spectrum. If a visitor wants to spend all day at one station, that's just fine. There'll be nobody to say, time to move along. The planning committee is hoping to have the Autism Nature Trail up and running before the 2018 season is over. So far, they've raised more than $850,000 and they're currently seeking donations to reach their goal of $4.4 Live in the studio, Angela Christophoros, News 4 at 4.